Hello and welcome to a and A's Fast 15, a virtual training module designed to help you and your chapter succeed. As always, the success of a and A depends upon volunteer leaders. So thank you for your commitment to a and A. This is an officer training module for the chapter president elect. Before you begin, be sure to complete these two Fast 15s the a and &A Governance FAST 15 and the Officer Basics FAST 15. These will help you better understand a and &A and the basis for volunteer leadership within the American Nephrology Nurses Association. We hope this virtual training module will help you better understand the function of the President-Elect. In it we will provide examples, tell you where to find the tools you need to get started, and help you identify any additional resources you may need. Of course this all takes time, but we want for volunteer work to be a joy, not a job. Plan to attend any conference calls arranged by the chapter president and be prepared to talk about the chapter's educational status. Your chapter's executive committee may have conference calls every month, every other month, or as needed. Also, as the president-elect, you can form an educational task force. You will be responsible for setting up conference calls with this task force. People often worry how they can fit their volunteer responsibilities into their busy life. The truth is, this role takes about an hour a week, unless you are in the midst of setting up an educational presentation or having a committee meeting. This may add an extra hour to an hour and a half during this time. Let's talk about other things you need to be successful. As a chapter officer, it helps to be organized, passionate, and committed to doing a good job. It also helps to know the vision and mission of a and &A, as well as the goals for the upcoming year. The president-elect is responsible for meeting the educational needs of the chapter members. The best place to start on your journey as a chapter president-elect is the VLW. There you will learn more about chapter business meetings, creating chapter work plans, conducting effective educational events, and organizational skills. You can learn how to be a mentor and find the perfect mentor for yourself. Can't or didn't make it to the VLW? a and &A has many resources to help you succeed. There are additional FAST 15s on a variety of subjects. The biggest thing is to get involved. Learn from your current president. Participate in webinars and conference calls. Ask for help by creating work groups or committees. Also, remember that the a and &A chapter support team, or ASSIST, is an email or phone call away. The ASSIST is a group of nephrology nurses who have accepted the responsibility of mentoring new leaders. They are here to help chapters be successful by offering education, answering questions, and providing resources. Also, understand the requirements for star points. Take credit for your hard work. Communication is key. Your members want to know not only what's going on in your chapter, but also nationally. Encourage others to get involved. As a new leader, there are some tasks we recommend to help guarantee your success. Complete the modules. They are quick and informative. All the chapter officers need to know a and &A's strategic plan. If you haven't already done so, make sure to print it out and have it available for reference. Also review sections 6, 8, and 11 of a and &A's policy and procedures. These sections have to do with chapters, education, and financial matters. Whether you have won the president-elect role by election or default, start working with the outgoing president-elect in February. Remember, next year you will be the president, and this year you will fill in as the president as needed. Plan your chapter educational meetings. The a and &A website has a list of educational offerings that are available for use. Or ask your members or officers if they have a particular topic they would like to present. Plan for your replacement. Look around you to search out new talent. Many people want to help. They're just waiting to be asked. Let your nominees know how much you enjoy your role. 
share with them the rewards of volunteering. ASSIST is a group of nephrology nurses who have accepted the responsibility of mentoring new leaders. They are here to help chapters be successful by offering education, answering questions, and providing resources. Collaborate with other chapter officers about recharter issues. Also, it is very helpful to participate in ASSIST webinars and conference calls. You can identify webinars by looking at the ANA calendar. It lists not only educational information, but also deadlines to remind you when reports are due. Part of being a chapter in good standing is to recharter every year. This is how we track and identify how your chapter is doing. a and has made it pretty easy to make recharter. A chapter must hold at least one business meeting. The business meeting lets you communicate to your members your plans for the year and your accomplishments. Also, a chapter must hold two educational sessions per year. One educational meeting must supply continuing education credits that have been approved by the American Nurses Credentialing Center's Commission on Accreditation or another accredited continuing nursing education entity such as state boards of nursing. Your educational meeting helps nurses and technicians stay abreast of the newest information to help them provide the best care. Your chapter profile tells us who you are. The president-elect is responsible for chapter elections. Also, know if your chapter has any unique bylaws. If so, these need to be approved yearly by the membership. Demonstrating that your chapter is meeting recharter criteria is our way of knowing that you are complying with the ANA PNPs as well as the bylaws. It allows us to help you make sure that you are doing the best work you can. Here is a list of the mandatory and requested reports. The profile which lists the chapter officers for the new year is due by January 15th. The financial reports must be submitted by the due dates. The calendar year-end report is also due January 15th and the fiscal year-end report is due April 15th. All meeting reports must be submitted within 30 days of the meeting. The good news is that ANA has made it so easy to submit these reports. Share your plans. Get feedback from your members and your officers. The place to start this process is the chapter work plan. Track your accomplishments on your work plan. There are three submissions per year. The initial plan is due in February. We strongly encourage that the outgoing and incoming officers work together to develop this plan. The updated plan is due after the National Symposium, and the final work plan is due in November. Star points are awarded for each submission. If you have missed the initial and updated work plan deadlines, we still encourage you to create a work plan and submit it. We want to see what you have planned. Submit your work plans to your assigned assist leader and the national office. The chapter president-elect is responsible for education of the chapter members. This can be a huge task, so it is encouraged that the president-elect form a small education task force. You can even create your own unique work plan for this group. Recruit the members who are always the first to arrive at the meetings and the last to leave, those who volunteer or those who love educating. Also keep in mind that these individuals might be a potential chapter officer. Trying to do everything yourself is a fast track to frustration and burnout. Make sure to mentor your team and infuse enthusiasm into them so that they can be successful. Use all of the ANA resources out there. ANA has streamlined educational events to make it easy for chapters to use. The Continuing Educational Approval Board has resources to help you plan unique chapter educational events. There is a tab dedicated to education on the ANA website. Make sure to familiarize yourself with the content of this tab. The online library has free CNEs every month. You can use these for chapter education. 
Look to your own chapter for members who have lectured before. To find your resources, log on to the ANA website. Choose about ANA, then chapters, then chapter educational opportunities. You can also look under the Education tab for information. Here are some of the educational events available. The fall and winter webinars are a great way to gather some members together. Perhaps even hook a computer up to a large screen TV, have snacks and beverages, and watch the webinar together as a group of three or more. There are also many pre-approved CNE activities. CNE on Wheels and CE Made Easy are always a great and easy way to provide chapter education. To apply for a CE on Wheels program, submit the repeat form to the National Office, find a meeting room, advertise the event at least two weeks, one week, and one day prior to the event. Watch their program and have your attendees sign on to the ANA website to get their CNE certificate. Remember that pharmaceutical companies want to support ANA, but they cannot provide CNEs. They can provide grants, though. A chapter can use this money to pay for food or even the meeting room. Here is an example of a corporate solicitation letter. This can be found on the ANA website under the Chapter Officers Only section. You can also apply for grants via a company's website and use this money for your events. Make sure to reach out to your drug reps to ask for support. If you do apply for a grant, do so early. They have limited funds. Make sure to follow the application guidelines and be prepared to supply a W-9 form. You can work closely with the chapter treasurer to make this happen. So, what is the W-9 form? It is used by the company for tax purposes. Blank forms are available on the ANA website. Have your treasurer print one out, have the president sign it, then make copies to have available. Make sure your list of members is current. Make your contact information available either through chapter newsletters, emails, chapter websites, or Facebook page. Follow up monthly with your members. Reach out to those who do not renew their a and &E membership or who stop coming to meetings. See what you can learn to bring them back. Always plan ahead. People are busy. Give them time to make a commitment to your activities. Surveys are a great way to do a pulse check on your chapter. SurveyMonkey is a user-friendly survey tool that is free and easy to use. It contains a lot of tips on how to create your survey. There is no cost to join or to use it. Use ANA Connected to stay in touch with your members. It is ANA's preferred communication method. Get your chapter members used to using the ANA website and getting connected to our growing community. Remember, you are not alone. Reach out to your assigned assist leader. Assist is dedicated to helping you succeed. One final thing. The chapter president-elect is responsible for chapter elections. Keep an eye out for potential replacements. ANA does give star points to chapters that do not recycle officers but get new blood. I have talked about resources. Well, this is how to get to them. Sign onto the ANA &E website, choose Chapters, then Chapter Officers Only. Chapter Officers Only will only appear after you have signed in and if you are a new officer after the National Symposium. This is where you can find all the tools you need to be a successful chapter officer. But if you run into problems, the staff at the National Office will walk you through it or there is assist. More of a people person? Remember there are over 9,000 a and &E members with a lot of experience and variety. Reach out to the other chapter officers. Always remember you are not alone. As a family of dedicated nephrology nurses and professionals, 
We are all in this together. If we don't have an answer, we'll learn together. If we can't find the answer online, we will utilize our resources and find it together. Well, that has been a fast 15. Still have questions? Well, have no fear, ASSIST is here. You can find your ASSIST leader in the Chapter Officers Only section. Plus, there is always the National Office. Call or visit them online at annanurse.org. Make sure you go to the Chapter Officers Only section and complete the short FAST 15 survey. We use the survey to gather valuable feedback, get additional ideas, and give you the opportunity to tell us what you need to succeed as a chapter leader. Star points are awarded to the chapters who have officers or members complete a FAST 15. Thank you and have a great a, &A year.